how do y'all fast forward 289? I know this is a bit of different scenery. We're sitting in my car this time. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the hydraulic clutch conversion kit from Modern Driveline onto a T5 bell housing. I got the L bracket kind of bolts to the bell housing instead of the kind of bolts to the case. There's two different kinds. But uh, so we're gonna get into that and I'll show you how that's done. All right, so I got a hydraulic clutch that I'm, I'm going for this. I didn't do the hydraulic throughout bearing because I just didn't want to go that route. I heard they're more of a hassle. They can cause problems. And if you ever had to change it, you got to take the transmission out. Where if this slave cylinder ever goes out, I can just change it with the transmission in the car. Anyway, the kit came from Modern Driveline. And uh, what it does is this is the bracket. And it's going to bolt on just like this. And then the slave cylinder will bolt here and then it'll push the fork forward. But what we gotta do is we gotta come in here and mark the holes for this. So I got this block of wood here because it installs on the inside of the bell housing like this. And we gotta make sure that it's, it's flat up against this. We don't want it cocked, you know, out or anything. And we also don't want it too far one way or the other, like this. So we gotta make sure it's sitting flat in there like it's supposed to. I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I'm gonna mark it with a Sharpie, and then we'll come back and I can punch it with my automatic center punch and then drill it out to the proper size hole. And then we can mark the holes. And it's easier if you can do this with it out, off the car. If you already got the transmission installed and you wanna put one on your car, you can do it. You just gotta make sure that you're careful that whenever you mark the holes on the outside here, that is again not too too far out you gotta make sure that it's the proper way you just gotta take your time a little bit more measure it out so you can drill it from this side instead but so we're gonna go get them holes drilled so we're gonna install this all right so we're gonna go right in the center of our mark here with our automatic center punch I'm going to start with a smaller bit to as a pilot bit, and then I'll upgrade to the right size that I need. And I'll go to this one. All right, so for the final size drill bit, it says he's a 21 64th drill bit for this. All righty. Also, another thing is in the kit, it comes with all this. So this is only for the TKX. We don't, we don't use that on the T5. We don't use this on the T5 or the TKO. The only thing we need for the T5 is this shaft. This is for the, uh, the slave cylinder. We're going to need this bolt, this bolt, and then two of these bolts. I've got the other one sitting over there, and then the four lock washers, and that's it. All right, so we'll grab our bracket. And it bolts on the inside just, just like so. And now we can bolt it down. Let's see if it's these. And then other bolts are bigger, so you can't mix them up. Snug them up. All right, so this is kind of hard to see, but. We got to measure from the back here to the tip of this, and they want to be 3.2, um, which is a little less than three and a quarter. So as long as this is about three and a quarter, it should be good to go. So we're gonna take our tape measure and measure that out and see what we got. I know you probably can't see it that good, but we got right there at three and a quarter. So we're good to go. The only, this the this pivot comes pre-installed whenever you buy the bell housing from Modern Driveline. But the thing I want to make sure of is to make sure that uh, it's good and tight. It should be. I'm going to make double sure. Take a 7 8 wrench. And we're just going to make sure it's good and tight. And it's good and tight. Also, another thing to note, they say that if you can't get the proper, like if this is not the right length, which it is, 
there's a lock washer under here. You're supposed to use one, but they say you can use two to achieve the proper length that you need to get that three and a quarter or just a little less than a quarter. All right, so in this hydraulic slave cylinder kit, it comes with this nut set up. And this nut here, this bevel like that, that's for the push rod for the slave cylinder. See how that nut's made with a bevel on it? And it goes in here and that push on the fork. So what we gotta do is we gotta install this on the clutch fork. Your clutch fork goes in the transmission like this. So your pivot is in here, it sits in there and it pushes the clutch like this when you actuate the clutch. So, on the side that this bracket is on, we're gonna install the bevel nut. So we'll take this apart. And the same side, so this side's plain, this side's got that shiny metal bracket. We're gonna go in here to the nut with the bevel like this. We'll go into the second hole, like that. Then we'll flip it over. Your lock washer will go on, and then the nut. The instructions say the lock washer goes on the front side, and I'm assuming they would mean this the front side being toward the front of the car because this side faces toward the front of the car. That's what I'm considering the front side. So we'll do it like that and then take a 15 16 wrench and tighten this down, and that's it. We're good to go. All right, guys, well, that's it. It was done. It was a uh, real easy install. It wasn't hard at all. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. The instructions tell you how to do it, though. Uh, but it's it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not hard at all, and it works very well. So, Because uh, as I'm speaking to you right now, the transmission is actually already in the car. I've been using it. Haven't had a problem with it. It's perfect. So if you all like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If uh, you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And... Uh, as always, take care. I'll see you in the next one.